Let's mess up some text here in InDesign. So using my type tool, I just dragged out a text box and created this little bit of text just here. You can see it here in the layers panel. It's this entry just here. Now let's go and grab my main tool, the selection tool. Click once on the text box to select it. Come up to the type menu and choose create outlines. Now visually, nothing has changed here. However, check out the layers panel. We have indeed converted our text into a shape, which is made up of a series of vector paths. And the great news is we can use the various vector tools here inside of InDesign to start to manipulate those paths. So tapping the A key, or coming over here to grab the direct selection tool from within the tools panel. I can come over here and select an individual point. So why is it that when I click on an individual point to move it, everything comes along for the ride? Let me undo that. Well, if you look very closely, you can see every single point is selected. So what I need to do is click in a blank part of my canvas to deselect everything. If I then click on a single point, I can select just that point and I can now easily move it around like so. Let's undo that. If I click, drag and release over multiple anchor points, I can select those multiple anchor points and then easily move those around like so. I'll undo that. And if I wish to confine movements to vertical or horizontal directions, I can do so while holding down the shift key. Now be careful, if I hold down the shift key just now and try to make this move, all I end up doing is deselecting a point. So let me select both of those points again, start to make the move. Now I'll hold down the shift key and now it's confining my movement to a vertical direction like so. A little weird I know, but just uh, try and work with it. So let's uh, come down and select these two points just here. I can hold down my down arrow key and you can see I can very slowly move those points around. If I wish to move these points around much more quickly while using the arrow keys, include the shift key. So holding down the shift key, I can tap the up and down arrow keys to easily move those around in a vertical direction. I'll just quickly make a couple of other changes, maybe move the top of the H up here. Ah, I did the same problem, right? Select both, start the move, then hold down the shift key. I'll do the same just here, select both of these, start the move, hold down the shift key. There we go. Okay, so I've messed up these shapes enough. Let's talk about how we can start to recolor some of these things. Let's go and grab my main tool, the selection tool. And you can see if you click on this once, the whole thing becomes selected. It's still considered a single compound path by InDesign. So here in my swatches panel, firstly, I'll make sure I am targeting the fill. If I click on say red, everything goes red. Now let's say I want to individually color the letter E. How can I separate the E from the other letters? Well, let's go back and grab my direct selection tool and I will click, drag and release over just the E, selecting all of the anchor points for just the E and nothing else. If I now come up to edit, cut, I have cut the E to the clipboard, edit, paste in place, that command not only pastes the E, but it pastes it back in the exact same place that it cut it from. Now visually, this looks identical on the page, but check out the layers panel. We now have two compound parts here. And if I turn off the visibility and turn them on one at a time, that's the result just there. So very simple to change the color just now, grabbing my selection tool, I'll select the E, swatches panel, targeting the fill, let's make that blue. So I might wrap things up just there, guys. Now, this isn't pretty, but I hope it gives you some good ideas on how you can convert your text into shapes and manipulate it from there here inside of InDesign. Catch you later.